Global X interviews social entrepreneurs who tackle some of the world's biggest problems. They are pioneers of innovation that benefit humanity. My name is Jack Sim from Singapore. I founded the World Toilet Organization, the WTO, the other one that is more progressive. Uh, we are a service platform for the subject of toilet and sanitation, which has been a taboo for a long time. And through leveraging on all the people outside the world to help, we give toilet to people who have no toilets. 40% of the world people today have no toilets, and that is quite a ridiculous number. They do have, some of them have headphones, television, but no toilets, or a very, very rudimentary. So we think that if we can create a market driven economy towards demand for toilets and health and it can bring a lot of benefit to the person even his dignity uplifting. Mr. Kondong from Thailand, if he can do the job, then Kondong and the toilet are in very close proximity and so I learned from him that we can use humor to propagate the subject. As a uh, the media, they love this uh, story because the media, media is constipated. The, the, the media is always looking for fresh story and the subject being a taboo is like a constipation that turned into a, a flood of diarrhea. A very, very good one. <laughs> so I think that the, the progress that the World Toilet Organization has done throughout this period is uh, phenomenal. We have the World Toilet Summit every Year, and we declare 19 November as the World Toilet Day, and that's our founding day. This is celebrated all over the world every year, larger and larger now. As a child in Singapore in the 1960s, the toilets is a bucket system and it's horrible. I don't want to use that village toilet because we were very poor and the bucket has full of worms, maggots and flies and it smells of uh, other people's shit. And so when I uh, made it, I have enough money and I thought I'm going to die at 80 and I was already 40. So I better do something important and I discovered that toilet is neglected and why don't I do this? So I could help the people who are in poor countries that is suffering the similar condition as when I was experiencing as a child. A person's life is finite. It doesn't go beyond, very far beyond 80 years. So if you want to live a full life, you cannot just focus on making money or having a job or career. You have to find greater meaning that you use this time that is allocated to you in, in a useful way that can help other people. Because when time runs out, then life runs out, no matter how much money you have. The World Toilet Organization needs lots of volunteers' talent. If you are a technologist, if you are an animator, if you are a, photograph, a photographer, a financial expert, so any talent that you have, you can volunteer with the World Toilet Organization. We'll devise a customized program just for you. Our website is www.worldtoilet.org. Global X is also on Social Edge at socialedge.org.